More than 360,000 people died from coronary artery disease in 2019. It develops when the arteries in your heart become partially or fully blocked by a fatty material called plaque. As a result, your arteries narrow, meaning your heart muscle doesn't get the blood flow it needs. Signs of coronary artery disease include chest discomfort that feels like tightness or pressure, being short of breath, having chest pain, especially after walking upstairs. There are many ways to prevent coronary artery disease, but if you've already been diagnosed, is it possible to lessen its effects? Unfortunately, you can't reverse coronary artery disease entirely, and there is no cure. However, you can take steps to reduce your risk factors and manage the harmful plaque buildup impacting your health. Statins, short for statin medications, lower your bad cholesterol, which causes plaque to accumulate. Bad cholesterol levels below 70 milligrams per deciliter can potentially reduce plaque by up to 24%. Taking statins can also stabilize your existing plaque buildup, preventing further damage. People can sometimes have uncomfortable or harmful side effects after taking statins, however, so talk to your doctor about what's best for you. If you or a family member has been diagnosed with coronary artery disease, there are several treatment options to consider. The four common approaches are, one, make lifestyle changes. Embracing healthy habits is the best first step. Lifestyle changes you can make include quitting smoking, taking care of health problems such as high blood pressure, eating a heart healthy diet, exercising regularly, limiting alcohol intake. Number two, take medication. Your doctor may prescribe medications that will lower cholesterol, like statins, lower blood pressure, stop angina or chest pain, reduce the risk of blood clots, lower blood sugar levels if someone is diabetic. Three, have a coronary stent procedure. With severe artery blockages, you might need a percutaneous coronary intervention, what's commonly referred to as an angioplasty. First, doctors insert a thin tube called a catheter into an artery on your wrist or leg. This tube has a deflated balloon at the end. Using x-rays as a guide, doctors direct the balloon catheter to the blocked artery. Then, they gently inflate the balloon, which widens the artery and restores blood flow. Finally, doctors implant a stent, which looks like a piece of scaffolding, to keep the artery open. Number four, have coronary artery bypass graft surgery. With this surgery, Doctors create new paths for blood to flow around a blocked artery. Surgeons carefully remove blood vessels from your chest, arm, or leg. Next, they connect these vessels to existing blood vessels on the heart, so oxygen-rich blood can once again flow. Deciding the best coronary artery disease treatment depends on how severe your symptoms are, your age, how many arteries are affected, how severely your arteries are affected. You should speak with your doctor and determine the best treatment plan together. Coronary artery disease is the most common type of heart disease. However, sometimes you won't know you have it until you have a stroke or a heart attack. Talk to your doctor if you have a family history of heart disease or are experiencing any coronary artery disease symptoms. Early intervention is key to keeping your heart healthy both now and in the future.